Off again. Leaving Finham. It's meant to rain at midday, so we're not going very far today. Just perhaps uh, 30 minutes or something like that. An hour. Maybe an hour. Jib's out. An hour. Mm. I was a bit, uh, a bit reluctant to pull the dinghy, to be honest, because I thought it's very light on the uh, on the forward side. If it was a really strong wind today, I would at least take the motor off because I don't want it to flip up backwards and over itself so maybe it wouldn't do that I don't know but uh, I've, yeah I've been in a dinghy where it's happened before so uh, and that was with me in it <laughs> good crew good crew captain you need to move <laughs> she tells me what to do I'm not really the captain what have you learned today honey I learned to sail a dinghy Yay! Yay! And, well, it's got no sails. Okay, drive a dinghy. <laughs> I still can't get used to that same driving when it's on the water. We should just call this channel like the lazy sailors. Because we never ever get the main out, apparently. We've been sailing three days now on the jib sail. <laughs> and, ah, but it's, it's okay, I'm not going to get the main out, especially with towing a dinghy and we're doing like four or five knots on the jib, so it's not too bad. Yes. So we're gonna head to a place called Lardna. We come from here in Finham. And we're heading down here into Lardna. So what's been going on Aurora? Um, latest upgrades, improvements, everything like that. Uh, one thing I did fix was the uh, uh, cigarette lighter plug just down here. So we put a 20 amp fuse in there just to fix that. Simple thing really. One of my subscribers, John, cheers John, uh, he suggested putting these handles in on the companion way, which is really good actually because there's nothing really to grab onto. We ordered 20 mil uh, anchor road um, from the recommendation of the boat supplier or boat broker in Sweden. Um, but I've looked in the windlass manual and the windlass will only accept uh, up to, I think it's 13 millimeters of rope. So 20 millimeters is gonna be pretty useless if we use the rope solution. Um, so I don't know, we'll, we'll do something with that rope, we'll see. Uh, so I need to either buy more rope or uh, more chain basically. We've only got 30 meters of chain at the moment, so yeah, we need to get more. So I was thinking about getting another 30 or another 50 or something like that of just chain. I don't know, let me know your recommendations if you'd recommend like rope and chain or all chain or, or whatever. I, ne I need to look into that. We tried to moor up in... Um... Chris! What? Close the bathroom window. Honey, I didn't know you were washing the bathroom, you should have said. Oh, she's washing the deck. She's not very. <laughs> she's not very happy with me. So I left the bathroom window open. Um, but yeah, we got to a nice calm anchorage in Lordna. Uh, we just tried to go to another anchorage about I don't know half an hour ago, and it's a members club, you know. And I thought, well, maybe we'll get in there because the weather's not so great and whatever. But immediately when we got there, you know, there was a woman waiting on the dock for us to tell us, no, it's members only. I was like, great, Swedish hospitality there, you know. The dock was only half full and, you know, if we could just stay there overnight and whatever in this weather, like, it's not going to be full at all. I mean, that's the thing, there's a lot of places out in the archipelago that are owned by clubs. I think it's right that they do that, but there's just so many places that are just owned by clubs and there's no, like, members area. Like, you have to be 
friends of a member to get in there or something like that? Uh, we tried the anchor for the first time and we realized that uh, the chain counter or the uh, the amount of chain that you're putting out is, is counted by a little device on the windlass connected and it shows you how much is going out. And when we were anchoring, um, basically I noticed a hell of a lot of chain going out and Tanya was just reading like four, five, six meters and I thought, hang on, there's like at least 20 meters going out and I went to the front. I went to the front and then I saw that almost all of the chain was out. So I know that there's 30 meters of galvanized chain going out, but the counter's only reading like eight or nine meters. So we just need to calibrate that and make sure that it's reading right. You would have thought that they'd done that in the factory, right? Yeah, maybe not. So we got some friends coming in, maybe now. Just gonna go and play around in the dinghy. That reminds me of my childhood days and uh, let the wife clean a bit. Yeah. Um, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, she's not happy with that. You like cleaning? When I'm done, you can drive me in the dinghy and to get an ice cream. Okay, we're gonna get an ice cream later on in the dinghy. Just had the first hot shower in the boat as well, uh, which was nice. I figured out that I could run the shower. Well, I actually tested the shower. Um, and I can run it for about four or five minutes. And I think there's 25 liters in the hot water tank. Uh, and then all of a sudden it gets very cold very quickly, so yeah, it was pretty nice though. Um, but maybe if you leave the engine running when you're taking a shower, you could have an unlimited shower, but I don't think it would heat it up fast enough. I don't fully know how the system works yet, so uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice day and I think the sun's trying to pop out now as well, so happy days in the Swedish archipelago. I look red, I got sunburnt yesterday again. <laughs> Half this channel I'm sunburnt, I think. Right, it's starting peeing it down with rain outside. And my wife continues to clean. She's a good wife. Are you coming in anytime soon? It's so bad. <laughs> Cleaning in the rain. Then I don't have to hold to get so much water. It's very smart. The rain is helping. It's a bit cold. She's a bit obsessive with this cleaning. I'm not obsessive. But I started. I can't I can't clean half of the boat and leave the rest because it's raining. One good thing about it raining and being horrible outside is it's just it's so cozy just sitting inside the boat, you know, although my wife's still outside, she'll be uh, inside again in a minute, but it's just cozy listening to the rain inside your boat and, you know, I, I, I really, really, really love this boat and so relaxing, so much fun and you forget everything what's going on outside of what's happening in the little boat world. It's, uh, it's really a special thing for me. Cheers, guys. Mini holiday over. Yeah, it's been a nice four days so far. Yeah. Still got tomorrow. It's not over yet. How cool is this? So we just made our uber comfortable little space right now. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> and I'm in my one piece. Yeah. So super comfortable. Yeah, check this out. Look what we've created, like a little lounge. <laughs> Cheers. Got a glass of wine. Going to be watching the the Hills of Eyes tonight. I've just got the laptop on a, a little inverter down there, so um, hopefully we'll see 
the battery not go down too much I just got to keep an eye on that but uh, you can see here we're just scrolling through the different things and diesels on 63% engine battery service is on 12.2 volts actually it's a little low already so I might need to turn the inverter off already because we haven't run the engine that much today so it's probably running a little low and then you don't want to run your batteries below sort of 40% if you can help it as well just to prolong the life of the batteries winds change direction outside a little bit so I just have to keep an eye on the anchor where we're lying um, yeah let's watch a movie though honey Scrambled eggs on toast with a bit of cheese and stuff. Cucumber and tomato. Um, just woke up to this. This is beautiful. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of tiny bit of wind, but not much at all. Just listening to the birds around the bay. Just enjoying the sun in the morning. It's it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I would take the drone up, but I haven't got any power in the drone and I don't really want to make a load of noise, to be honest. But I figured out I can't charge the drone either on the uh, on the 12 volt cigarette light plug because uh, it only charges from 13 volts and uh, you only get 13 volts out of the battery realistically when it's really fully charged or when it's charging from the engine. So I can only charge it from that unless I put it on the inverter. Uh, but now we're down to 12.1 volts, is, which is pretty low to be honest. I think that's down to 25%, which is a little bit, a little bit bad. But we're going to start the engine soon and leave, so it's going to charge from then. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Spray really hood's cool. down. It's, it's gives a nice view actually with the spray hood down. Yeah. Um, Honey, yeah. what are you doing? So this is what happens when you. <laughs> Try to be clever and release the air pressure out of the dinghy before getting it on because if it's upside down it's more difficult to get the air out but uh, now I've got, <laughs> I've got nothing to stand on to get back on the boat. <laughs> 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 <I can't. laughs> oh maybe it's... Oh let me open the... let me open the gateway. <laughs> I need to put some protection under this dinghy as well to not scrape up the deck all the time. Just preparing to sail now so we can get going back home. Damn it. Where are we going? I don't do know honey, a, you tell we, me. Do we have a course platter? No. Okay. <laughs> Just exploring some new places that we could go in the summer as well. It's always good to have many, many options. So this is one place where we thought about getting a membership actually, but we don't know the waiting list or how to get in. It's super nice if you can sometimes uh, walk off the front onto a bridge and not have to jump out down onto the rocks. So yeah, we'd love to get a membership here. And... We've been here once, but it was out of season, so we actually they allowed us to stay over for one night um, and the island is actually quite big but this is sort of a peninsula of the island so you feel that you're really just on a very small island it's a huge area that this club has and it's really far spread out very nice and I believe they also have some huts that you can rent in in the forest so if you have guests on board and you want a bit more space or you have too many people on board then you can rent the huts and over here in the green or the grey building hope you can see it uh, is the sauna really nice sit there in the evening and then have a very cold dip we're sailing Yes, and immediately it's become a race with the Bavaria up there, if we can see it. Yeah. Anyway, we're, we're, we're catching bloody powerboats. Yeah. I'm joking, that was me like two years ago. Anyway, 
So, we've got the main out. There he is. Yes. All right, it's still racing. <laughs> Things are extreme. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. We'll take this Bavaria up there. We're getting closer. We're gonna take them, honey. It's not long now. I think this sailing is turning in me into an evil competitive person. I think it does with every sailor. We'll get them. Lovely power boaters, so considerate. You know. Yeah. Stupid mother. That's the race with the so-called Bavaria, which I see in is no longer a Bavaria, it's something else. Uh, is not faring well, to be honest. And I can see he's got a laminate sail on the front and he's got um, performance mainsail on it as well, I think, so. I'm still trying though, I'm still trying, he's up there. So close, yet so far away, Mr. Laminate Sail Man. I will have to take the same tack. Maybe I can take a shortcut. Overall though, I think she's doing pretty well. Being as we haven't got like super performance sails or anything like that, we're still doing really well, so. Uh, everyone's tacking up this channel now. It's quite an interesting little sail. It's good fun, it's good fun. Laminate Sail Man, I have caught you. Almost. There you are. It's just a question of this tack, who's going to prevail? The sails look like they're well set, at least. A bit close to the wind, but we have no wind now. Tanya's doing labels. Really lost the wind now. See, this is uh, quite a good comparison, actually. See, I'm, I'm set up with uh, a self-tacking jib, an in-mass furling system. Fair enough, I've got the mid-performance sails, but not the laminate sails. Just have a look at laminate sail man over there. I reckon that's about 120% Genoa, maybe? And he's got a slab reefing mainsail as well, so it should be higher performance. And he is, he is going slightly quicker than me in the light winds, but I have caught him up, it's, uh, it's pretty good could really do with a light wind sail now, a code zero or something like that, so um, ah, if anyone wants to donate one, uh, only joking. They probably cost in the region of about 4,000 euros or something like that, but uh, mind you it wouldn't be any good in this situation because we're going, we're tacking up wind, so the code zero is, I don't think it's the best sail to do that. Uh, but the wind's down to like two knots now, so we might have to get the motor on soon. There seems to be more and more boats out now. In a month or so, this will be rammed with boats. There will be thousands and thousands of boats everywhere. Got a big Vaxel boat coming now. That's gonna be a big wave. Big wave. It's actually started to push us backwards now. <laughs> sailing backwards. What the hell are they doing? Anyway, the race is over with Laminate Sailman. I really lost wind out here now and we're actually sailing backwards, so I've switched the engine on. And in hope to find a bit more wind out, out in the open area over here. Well, there's no point sitting there doing zero knots or sailing backwards, so... May as well try and find some wind out there. But I do not know what they're doing. Sorry, Laminate Sail Man. <sighs> this is... Just a little bit more wind, it'd be perfect, but... Really happy with the boat, really happy with the weekend that we've had, it's just super awesome. Uh, yeah, what more can I say?
great weekend. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. And um, yeah, if you like it, give us a like. And join us next time. Hopefully, we're teaching you something or sharing in good experiences and showing you the or Stockholm Archipelago. Do. Yeah, and what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> learning, learning by doing. Cheers, guys.